pledges to eliminate the worst forms of child labour by 2016 will not be met if countries do not radically step up their efforts. This requires addressing its root causes, especially poverty. The majority of child labour is in agriculture, which is also one of the most dangerous sectors to work in. Child labour is work that can harm children's safety, health and morals, or interfere with compulsory education. Non-hazardous work can be carried out by youth above minimum legal age for employment, normally set between 15 and 16 years of age. Most attention is still given to popular export crops such as cocoa, tea and cotton. And little has been done to address family-based child labour in other agricultural situations. But now some countries are starting to tackle this issue. These children in a coastal village in southern Cambodia are attending school instead of going fishing. With capacity building support from the UN's Food and Agriculture Organization and the International Labour Organization, the Cambodian government has set specific targets to reduce child labour in its 10-year fisheries plan. It also incorporated child labour prevention in its fisheries code of conduct. Working closely with fishing communities, the government has started to address the root causes of child labour. It is important to bring up all stakeholders and the local people, especially the fishermen and the members of the community fishery, to discuss and provide their idea how is their view and perception for the brighter future for small scale fishery in Cambodia through the community fishery management. Family-based child labour in Cambodia is widespread and many poor fisher families cannot afford to send their children to school. If they continue to use their children, so their children will be uneducated and then deal in a cycle way, uh, it will contribute back to poverty so they will not you know, emerge from this cycle of poverty. So it is time to change and it, change it, it needs to change it now. Here in Kepthme village, change is taking place. Fisherwoman Cow Diary no longer sends her children to work. Before we didn't have any support from the fisher organization, but now we get help which makes it possible for me to send my children to school. Reducing child labor is not only about safeguarding children, but also about creating a better future for them, their communities, the agricultural sector and the country as a whole. Finding sustainable solutions requires effective collaboration between many different actors. Dealing with a family-based child labor is not the strength of the Ministry of Labour when working in isolation. In collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, they can get access to this group of beneficiaries that they would not otherwise have access to. We feel that this is a very good combination of skills and in order to address this uh, fundamental problem. The policy changes made by the Cambodian government are an example that other countries should follow in order to eradicate hazardous child labour in agriculture.